Cardinal Dolan here, folks. Thanks for persevering through the three ways Christ comes to us during Advent. I spoke about his first coming in history, his second coming in, can you remember, mystery. The third way he comes is in majesty, the coming of Christ in majesty. He'll do that at the end of time as judge of the living and the dead, all right? He's going to come back, folks. Sometimes we don't think of that. We don't have any trouble believing that he came in history a long time ago, his first coming. We don't have any trouble believing that he continues to come to us in mystery through grace and sacraments. But we sort of put in the back of our mind that he will come again in glory, in majesty, at the end of time as judge of the living and the dead. We think about that coming of Christ, his third coming in majesty, a lot in Advent. You listen to the readings, okay? They're going to talk about his return as judge of the living and the dead at the end of time. Sometimes we sort of think, oh, this coming of Christ in majesty at the end of time, that's for the, that's for the uh, fanatics, that's for the fundamentalists. No, it's for us as well. It's a fundamental doctrine of our Catholic faith that Christ will return in glory, in majesty at the end of time, as judge of the living and the dead. And folks, we wait for that coming of Christ. Sometimes I wish he'd hurry up. Other times I hope he takes his time because I'm not ready yet, okay? History, mystery, and majesty, the triple comings of Christ that we think about in Advent. Thanks for tuning in.